So this is Runa's house, and they have a drumless laundry system. So all of their wash water from their laundry machine comes outside. And all this bamboo in the back, the tall bamboo, is all watered with the gray water. Wow, it looks great. Let's go inside and look at the washer. Sure. So I brought my friend Tara to, um, hoping that you could show us your gray water system because she's wanting to build one herself. Sure, sure. So just happen to be doing laundry right now and um, this is our lovely laundry machine. And you can see it's set up to a valve right there and it's set up to our gray water system so it either comes down like a normal laundry or it's in the off position so this goes into the gray water system which um, is like a set of PVC pipes that goes in it. Um, our laundry water goes out to the bamboo. So here we go. <laughs> and then when we use the gray water, we always um, you know, you use, there's a special soaps for it, low phosphate soaps, I think. Low salt. And low salt. So this is the washer, and it's a front loader, so it uses about 10 gallons a load. And this is the three-way valve, and so they can either send it to the uh, sewer, which is just going into this utility sink, or to the gray water system. And this three-way valve is really the key to the system. It gives you the flexibility of sending it you know, either direction just by turning this handle. So here it says off, so the water comes in here. When it's off, it's not going through here. When you turn it, you know, it turns this side off. So just by doing this, you can send it either direction. And you just need a few you know, basic plumbing pieces to get this going to the kind of piping you need. So this is a reducer, and you just insert, you would, you would glue this. You can see you know, the glue that they did so it wouldn't leak. But you would glue this in here, this in here, and you can see that now you can just stick a piece of one inch PVC pipe on either end. So this is from the machine, it's just the laundry hose. And you put a different kind of adapter. This one fits in as well, but it has threads. It's, um, so you would glue that in. And then here, you would you know, insert this. And now you can see the laundry hose would just fit right over here. And you use a hose clamp that would clamp and you would tighten it down. So this would be a watertight seal. And so now you have attached your washing machine to this three-way valve, and you can easily send it either to the sewer or to the gray water system. So the other side, so now this, this is off, and now the gray water is going out to the gray water system, and it travels through one-inch PVC pipe. And the one inch is a really important size because that is large enough so it won't stress the motor of the washing machine, but it's small enough so it keeps the flow pressurized. So all if there's any lint or dirt or particles, it'll all get pushed out and it won't sit in, a, in the pipe. If your pipe is too large, you, you'll have settling of solids. If it's too small, it'll stress out the motor. So that's why one inch is the ideal size for this kind of system. So it goes out through the one inch pipe it goes, you know, hugs the bottom of the wall here, and then it, there's a small hole in the house, and it goes straight outside. And now we'll go out and see the gray water pipe on the outside. So this is where the one-inch pipe comes out of the house, and it's sealed, so no air, you know, no bugs, nothing will go in there. And it comes down, and this is called a check valve, and this only allows flow to go in one direction. And if there's ever a chance where the gray water line could ever be raised up, you know, above the height of the washer, you wouldn't want any gray water to back flow, you know, back into the house, back into the washing machine. So this just prevents that from happening. In this system, it's kind of a, um, it's pretty precautionary because the washer is actually higher than out here. So there's not a, a high chance that that would happen. So here it goes. Now it's buried, so we're not going to really see the pipe anymore. It's under the ground, just shallowly buried. We're under the porch here. This is the check valve, and the flow goes in one direction, so you would install it so the water's passing through this way. So the gray water line is barrowed shallow, shallowly, about four inches. You know, this yard, there's no, never going to be a car or truck driving by, so we don't have to worry. They don't have to worry about it getting broken. So just buried about, you know, four inches under all these wood, all these wood chips and the mulch. And it comes pretty much straight here. 
and then it goes into a T and it splits. So there's you know different areas, six different places along this big line where it's irrigating. So the gray water comes in through one T and then it splits out. And this is just a small um, portion just to demonstrate what fittings are used. It goes into these T's and it splits out and runs, there's a, you know, one long line running and then smaller lines, you know, shooting out for the water to come out. And they noticed that at first the gray water wasn't coming evenly through all of these, coming out evenly in all of these. So they attached, um, this is a threaded coupling and they got a cap and they actually drilled a hole in the cap. This one doesn't have a hole in it, but they drilled a small hole and screwed it on to restrict the flow. So that way they could get an even flow in all of the six um, places where the gray water is coming out. And they just you know, experimented a little bit until they got the even flow and then the system was finished. So there, in this system, there's actually two different ways that the gray water is infiltrated. And this is, demonstrates the very best way to infiltrate gray water. So you can see that here, um, the pipe was reduced to three quarter inch. And this is the last the last gray water line that's coming out. And this is just free flowing into a mulch basin. So this whole you know, area is full of wood chips, which are mulch. And there's just a rock kind of shielding it. And there's a little rock below it is like a little splash guard area. So the gray water is gonna be pouring out here and then soaking into the mulch. So this is really important that the gray water is landing onto the wood chips so it can spread out and soak down and it will never pool up in the surface. So even if they did a whole bunch of rows of laundry, you know, a whole bunch of loads in a row, there would still be this whole area that the water could spread out and soak down into. So this is the second best way to infiltrate gray water. This is called a mulch shield. So I'm kind of standing in a mulch basin around this other bamboo. So there's, you know, a thick layer of wood shavings, or these are wood chips. Um, and the gray water is going into this little bucket that has the bottom cut off. And so it can pour in and then soak down. And so in this situation, it's a little more shielded. Um, there's a lid on the bucket. So when the lid's on, you can't really, there's no way to access the gray water and you can't visually see it. And so in here, it's just pouring out into the mulch. So it's landing on the wood shavings. It's still infiltrating and um, soaking down. The advantage to this is you can't see the gray water. The disadvantage is you won't notice as quickly if something goes wrong and if there's a clog in the system.